Hey, what up guys? Raph 5 is my anime chef video game pickups for 115, I believe. 115, been a while since I post off. As you can see, I got a good stack going on over here. So let's start getting like the little stuff out. I picked up a, a I think what do you call these? A homebrew uh, retro whatever thing of Shin Megami Tensei on the GBA. What it works on, I believe on the... Game Boy Advance and DS Lite and regular DS as well, but nothing like DSi 3 uh, or no, not DSi. I forgot which one, but I think it all work for the original DS slash DS Lite. So pretty cool. Again, I always want to check out the very first Shimmering Ten Tensei, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I picked this off for my 3DS. This is the 3DS Soul Hackers uh, 3DS case. It comes with a case, a stylus. A cloth cleaner and two little cases to put your games in, but yeah, allow me get anything Shimagami Tensei related and definitely saw hackers is a must for me. Uh, if I finally picked this up, this was on sale for like 20 bucks. I finally picked up Akiba Strip Director's Cut. I didn't know, I thought it was on PS4 as well for like the new release, but no, this only came out on Switch, so I had to get it. So pretty cool, put that to the side. Uh, got my gargoyles. This is what the game looked like because I have it out of the case. Can't wait. I've been, play I've been playing that game non-stop. I have got so much further I ever did <laughs> versus the Sega Genesis day back in the day. Uh, now switch game I picked on Neo. The was it? The world ends with you. There you go. Pick that up. And then this is the VHS. Uh, this is the collector set that came for the gargoyles game. Pretty cool. Old school clamshell box. My only anime pickup, I finally pick up the Disappearance of Hari Suzumizo for like 10 bucks of Blu-ray. Couldn't pass that up. As for manga pickup, I went to a district play. Couldn't find nothing. No, half price. Couldn't find anything. I was about to leave. I saw in the corner of my eye something that said Otaku. And I've been wanting to get this for a while. This is Otaku Elf. Can't wait to check that out for a read. I want to get that for a while. And then yes, of course, I got Big Girl. Do you like Big Girl's Volume 8? <laughs> uh, yeah, very risque. Uh, this replace here, I picked up the uh, Mad World on the Wii. Been wanting to get that for the longest time. And Heavenly Guardian on the Wii. Been wanting to get this for the longest time. And I've got this for an amazing deal, my friend. Let me know. This is the AI, the Suminumo file. Collector's Edition. Comes with, like, the game, a figure, and a lot of cool stuff. So I knew you get the first game, but when this was on sale, I could have passed it off. Let's start with my DS game. I finally picked out Life Life Science Surgical Unit. It's kind of like trauma, basically trauma center, so I want to get that for a while. My niece has been loving playing the DS 3DS, so I picked up a game for her to play, which is a two-pack of Frozen and Big Hero 6. And guys, you know, I've been getting addicted to PAL games, so I'm trying to get some PAL exclusives, so I picked up Izuma 11 for the DS. And Izuma 11 2 Firestorm. Or fi the, a guy in the U.S. had both of them for a good price, because otherwise, if I bought from the PAL region, it would have been, you know, whatever price, and then the shipping, and then it gets, takes too long, but yeah. I get my fine, picked up a spirit camera, I finally got a complete copy of it. Pretty cool, can't wait to check that game out. Damn dog barking out there. Fine, picked up Dragon Ball Z Fusion. I had a chance to get a disc replay for, uh... For the uh, for forty bucks, but then I I luckily saw it for the same price on eBay, a little bit cheaper actually as I got from there. And the next up, guys, are all PAL games. I picked up Astrick, Astrick. Uh, again, can't you know, I'm not bad pronounce it, but yeah, again, these three DS games will play in a PAL 3DS, but it will be in English as long as you set your 3DS PAL 3DS into like English, like British English or something. I picked this game up because it was basically Flappy Bird, like, like hell yeah. I've been having fun with this game, too. This one I could have passed off for, like, 18 bucks. Hey, Pikmin 3, even the PAL one is, like, 30. So, heck yeah, I guess uh, the guy knew that there's no way he could be a sell in the U.S., so we put it for a good price, so I could have passed that up. And again, another Izuma 11 Go Light. Can't wait to play that game. Very catchy opening. Lucky Luke and Los Daltons. Again, another PAL exclusive game that we never got here. This game on something we never got in the U.S. is Naruto Shippuden, the new era. 3D, like, I, I didn't know we didn't get this in the U.S. We got Naruto uh, Rock Lee Buddies, but not this one. And then I got another copy of One Piece, because it was a U.S. seller was selling it. It was a good price. Won it, so heck yeah. Some of the other games that they got from, like, the PAL region, so it took a while to get here. And last but not least, uh, I could have passed out this was on sale at Best Buy. 
and that is the SpongeBob Collector's Edition Battle for Bikini Bottom, ugh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Hydrated Shiny Edition. You get, of course, the game, some socks, the uh, figurine SpongeBob, stickers, and uh, art cards. Mainly got because it was like 40 bucks. I could have passed. I basically upgraded my Switch version to the, the PS4 version. They did got the they did have the big box version of. At Best Buy, where you get the three figurines and a lot more other stuff, I'm like, no, I don't got no room for that stuff. So I'm, I was good with the standard collector's edition. But yeah, guys, that been my like my video game. Mostly it's on video games, so yeah, I got a lot of games to play. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This is a ref five. I'm gonna hand you to go go. Goodbye.